Hi, I'm Peter Mansbach, and I'm president of Circadian Sleep Disorders Network. Based on research surveys, we estimate one in 600 adults suffers from DSPD. That's over half a million American adults. In addition, we estimate that 90,000 Americans suffer from non 24 hour sleep wake disorder, mostly blind folks but it does include an unknown number of sighted individuals as well. I have heard so many stories from people of doctors who flat out do not believe in these disorders and even sleep specialists who insist that if only the patient did what he prescribed, he would be able to live on a normal schedule. Some people are helped by treatment, including light and melatonin, but some are not. We feel our most urgent task is to spread awareness of these disorders among the public and especially within the medical community about how disruptive these disorders can be to people's lives, how injurious to health, and that they cannot always be brought under control. Far too many people are being misdiagnosed with depression or ADHD when the real problem is sleep deprivation due to an underlying circadian disorder. They are often prescribed medications based on these misdiagnoses, some that have their own side effects, but that don't work since they aren't addressing the underlying circadian disorder. I keep reading emails on our listserv from people who are trying to hold down a daytime job and only getting three or four hours of sleep a night. These people are destroying their health. Some have already been diagnosed with diabetes or other chronic long-term health problems. Worse yet, they're not getting support from their physicians. They're told they are lazy. They are told they are not following the prescribed regimen strictly enough. They are told they could hold a daytime job if only they pushed themselves harder. But they are pushing themselves right into the ground. I read emails from people who have heard about a career that allows working at night only to learn that the training they need to get certified can only be taken in the morning. In other cases, employers who are desperate for people to work the night shift nevertheless require everyone to work the day shift part of the time. We need employers to understand circadian sleep disorders and to provide accommodations when it does not impact the real needs of the job. We need to raise awareness of these disorders. We need people to understand that our sleep schedule is not under our control and in many cases cannot be fixed. Thank you.